Hello, my dear. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy, en <laughs> physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. So, I don't th think I've done a reading for you before. I'd like to explain real quick. I see, hear, feel, sense, know, and obviously can't talk today. <laughs> they talk to me, but they also show me pictures. I call it spiritual charades. I try to describe the picture the best I can. There's always a reason for whatever they show or say. So if it doesn't make any sense now, keep it in mind. You'll either remember it later, see it later, or somebody else will validate it for you later and go, ah, oh, I know what he's talking about. This is not an exact science. We communicate the best way we can. So sometimes you got to stretch it outside the box a little bit. Uh, he won't give me all the details. He'll give me just enough that you should know what he's talking about. So, so before I started, I had this huge pull to light my candle. Um, I don't know if you'd planned on lighting birthday candles for him tomorrow, but I, I felt that somebody, somebody's going to be lighting some kind of candle for him tomorrow for his 30th birthday. Some of his friends, I, I know a smidgen about him, and the reason I didn't ask for a picture was because I know, I kind of know him, not personally here, but when I went to Chelsea's house one time, he he came through. And that was before Brandon passed. So, he says some of his friends with the big trucks, like they all had, like he had, they're going to be going to visit him. He knows that. So, I don't know if you're planning something at the cemetery. I don't know which cemetery he's in. But he, he knows that his buddies, <laughs> he's shown them blowing smoke. Blowing smoke, blowing the black smoke. I don't know if, if all those guys still had those kind of trucks or, or not anymore. I know a bunch of them around here had them and for a while. I haven't seen them, any of them for a while. I love you, Mom. You took good care of me. You raised me right. I loved what I did. He meant as far as his life, like he liked being in the out of doors. He liked having his big truck. He liked he liked being in the country. He liked he li enjoyed doing those things. I might not have been the best student, <laughs> but I enjoyed my life as far as the country part, the home part, the, the, <laughs> he says, the smell of hay used to turn him on. I don't think he means sexually, just, it was. He says like an aphrodisiac, but he doesn't mean like sex. He means like, just, I know that, I know what he means. The smell of alfalfa, when I like go to my granddad's barn where the milk cow was, I just used to just suck it in and loved the smell of it. And I still do if I ever run into any, which isn't very rare anymore. He said, home is where the heart is. I don't know if that's a saying you have. Maybe you have a picture that says that somewhere. Let's see if I can get him to validate for sure. So you know for sure it's him. I ask him to at least give a couple things. He's talking about muddy boots. But they're dried muddy boots. Work boots. Do you still have a pair of his sitting somewhere? Do 
You can also find chunks of dried mud in strange places, probably in your house. Doesn't have to be in your house, could be your vehicle, could be anywhere, but you're going to find, you know, like if you have muddy boots and it dries and the little pieces fall off, like pieces like that. He's, oh, he's talking about the kitchen counter. I don't know if you're going to find a chunk of mud, dried mud on top of your kitchen counter when it shows up in a strange place. I know if you've got people walking in and out of your house, that might be normal. You find that sometimes. So know when you find it in a strange place. And you could be in the store. You could be, I don't know how you do it outside. Um, could be in your vehicle. Maybe you just clean your vehicle and you find a chunk of it. Um, could be on a sidewalk going, getting out of your vehicle to go in a store or something. When it's in a different place than it normally would be, that's a sign. So when you get a sign from him, validate him, acknowledge him, tell him you love him, and ask him to bring you more if you want more. That's your free will choice. He's singing happy birthday to himself. So if you light candles for him tomorrow, watch for them to flicker, maybe just one. Or maybe one will go out, or maybe one won't light, or I don't know if you're going to do 30 of them, but he had a, he's a good kid, had a huge heart, still does. I promise you a thousand percent, he can hear you, he can see you, talk to him all you want to. He says, I love you, mom. He says, <laughs> he says, you were my main man. You were my main man. So that uh, puts you pretty high on the totem pole when he says main man. Uh, he, he hears you saying, especially approaching his birthday, he hears you saying, I wish you were here. 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 He's repeating it over and over. He hears you. I promise you, he hears you. Okay, so he's taking his elbow and he's leaning on your shoulder. So he's on my right. That's usually where they come in. It doesn't have to be your right. So you should feel that like a sharp, because it's kind of the bony part of his elbow, because he's taller than you, is what he's showing, or it could be you're sitting, but it's, it's the bony part of your elbow, and it's, right now he's pushing me right here, where it's kind of fleshy, and he's pushing kind of hard, so he's trying really hard, doesn't mean it's going to feel hard when you feel it, but it means he's trying hard to let you know he's leaning on you, he's right there beside you, he's on my right, like I said. So that could, you could just feel a little spot of pressure. It could feel like a pin prick in you. Um, it was yesterday, man, I got one sticking me in the neck like crazy, trying to get my attention. Like, a, just like a pin. <laughs> or being stung. Or it could feel like a, a bug crawling that, that you can't get off. You could get goosebumps. I don't know how you will feel the energy. We all feel it different. But he's, he's pushing really hard. And if it hurts, tell him it hurts. Just He's trying to make a great effort for you to feel him. He says you've smelled him before. <laughs> he's calling it foo-foo stuff. You've smelled his foo-foo stuff when he got ready to go out. When he got slicked up, he says. He's still showing putting on cowboy boots when he gets slicked up. You, he, he had a certain cologne or certain something that he wore, a smell that he wore. And smells are easy for them to do. It's easier than uh, taking a big ass boulder and moving it through your living room. I mean, smells are really easy for them to do. So they like to do that. So know that you'll smell that. You have, he says you have smelled him. 
you might just get a whiff of it. You can be in your car, you can be in Walmart, you can be in your house. It doesn't matter where you are. You can smell it anywhere. Again, validate him, acknowledge him, tell him you love him, and ask him to bring you more. Because that way he knows that you realize that that's him, and he's dropping in to say, I love you, I'm here. Don't cry, Mom. I love you too. Don't cry. And he's, he's kind of singing it. I don't think there's a song like this because I sure don't recognize it. He's singing, it's just, it was just my time to go. You don't want me to sing. I don't, that's bad. But he's singing it. It's just, it was just my time to go. It was just my time to go. But he's singing it. I don't hear a tune like a, like a song you would hear on the radio. And I will tell you from what they've shown me, I believe in past lives, many lives were here off and on, popping in and out, living the dream. I don't know, did he used to say live in the dream? Because I don't usually say that. But before we come here, we decide our exit point. Whether I don't think we decide exactly how we're going to leave. Maybe. I'm not sure about that part, but... We decide when we're going to leave. Could be when you're day old. Could be when you're 100 years old. Timeline can waver a little bit depending on what's going on with the people around you and what they're going to learn from it, how it's going to affect them on their life path. But we're going to go in that time period. I don't know why it works that way. But it does. So he was he was in his time period to leave, his exit point. It's just the way it works. It kind of stinks. You have to talk to them up there about that because I do. So tomorrow, I hope you see this before tomorrow. Um, I think I'll load this this one first to make sure that you at least have a chance to maybe catch it. Um, Watch for something. He's gonna. Uh, he's, he's like he's got a whole ball of things that he wants to try because he doesn't know which one that you're gonna actually go. Bingo! That's the sign from him. So it's like he's got a whole ball of things that he's gonna try. Um. You know, I, I hate to be vague, but I don't know which one's gonna make your little light bulb go off, and I don't think he does either. So he's going to try different things. So watch for the candle thing. Watch for watch for a song that comes on. It could have his name in it. He's showing me the big truck again. Could have something about big truck, diesel, the smoke. Um, and that could be on TV. That could be on Facebook. Oh, I hate to give out. This sounds really... A little a little vague and broad but I don't know which one so any of those things not something that you're thinking of but something that actually pops up in front of you um what else Matthew oh, he had something else but I, he's not saying it now that Anyway, watch out for any of those little things that would be something that would be directly, you know, and even if it's a song, it might have his name as the artist, like it might have Matthew, or it could be in the title, could be something about truck smoking, something that would be directly related to him that'll catch your attention tomorrow. He's, he's going to try to let you know that he's there on his birthday. Something about a chair scooting on the floor. He's showing a wooden chair. Even if you don't have one, you, that's the sound you're going to hear. It's like a wooden chair scooting away from the table or back to the table or something like that. It may not be very loud. It rarely happens when you're in the same room. It's usually as you walk down to the room, you go, what the heck was that? Or you might be sitting in the living room watching TV and you go, what was that? 
It's a chair scooting. It probably won't be very loud. It could be. Again, validate him, acknowledge him, let him know that you know that he's there. Did he get in trouble for, <laughs> for dragging chairs across the floor? Like, you're going to damage the floor, stop doing that? I did that with my kids. Ah, drop my soup. I love you, Mom. I know you miss me. I'm closer than you think. Just not in the way you want. I know your heart hurts. I know your heart's broken. Know that I'm good. I'm asking him who, like, who he's with. Please. He's got Brandon. I already knew that. Um. There's a man with a cowboy hat. The cowboy hat kind of turned up on the sides. A light colored hat. I don't know if the hat makes any difference, but they're making it very, very pronounced. Older man. Not elderly, but older. <laughs> I always ask my granddaughter, old like your mom, old like me, or old like my mom? What is old to you? I can't see his age. He's got the cowboy hat's kind of down on his face. Clean cut. Hair's a little bit long. About like mine on the sides, kind of. Kind of almost the same color from what little bit I can see under the hat. A little bit of a not round face, like heavy set, but he's not he's not real, real slim. I'm not seeing all of it. Kind of a little muscular. Got a, a plaid, um, I would almost call it a western shirt. Definitely, definitely farmer type guy. Somebody related to you. Dad? Grandpa? That is there with him. Very easy going. Hard-working male. Like horses. Showing that he taught some young boy how to ride it. Uh, almost looks like a pony. Because he's leaning off of his horse, reaching down to the young boy in the end. And looks more like the other one's a pony because it's pretty short. So anyway, he wants you to know that they that they're together. And it's very calm, very loving, very very yeah, mellow's not the word I want to use. Still working. Still working. Just like they did here. I love you, Mom. Just wanted you to know we were there. And he's blowing you kisses. He'll be blowing you kisses tomorrow. And with that, they're going to leave. Get much love to you, my dear. Um, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Betty. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. See you later.